today I want to tell you a really important thing told me in the vision by the Hindu god Lord Vishnu. I work with Shiva, pronounced Om Namah Shivaya for a really long time. And then I felt into a delirium in which I was like in some like place filled with indigo blue color and and then Shiva left and Vishnu appeared playing the flute and during that ecstatic state in which he played the flute Vishnu told me that it's not important if you cannot increase your social standing with your magic that much caste system is actually a real thing in the entire world the rich people set up the rules of the game so it benefits them more. I know that it is possible for somebody to change a caste. If you are born in a working, working class, you can become extreme multimillionaire. But probability is extremely small. So if you cannot change a caste you are born in, through the power of your magic, that shouldn't really bother you if you manage to change the caste you belong to with the power of your magic and your spiritual abilities then that's fine and that's completely okay but if you fail don't judge yourself for it don't be angry at yourself because your eternal soul is beyond caste system your eternal soul is beyond rich and poor and your internal soul has only one urge and that is to connect to the Brahma. That is to connect with the all either through the left hand path or through the right hand path. Do not judge yourself because you belong to a particular caste, to a particular class or to a particular family. If you are born in a poor family and you have difficulties becoming rich, don't judge yourself. Caste system is at place in the entire world. Here in the West we call it social stratification, but it's more or less variation of the caste system. It exists everywhere. There are Rajas, Brahmins, soldiers and peasants everywhere. The only difference is in modern times machines do agriculture so the working class fits the same place in the society peasants fitted in back in a day. And also there is no artisan and craftsman class because crafts are these days done by the machines. So there are only three castes now. Brahmin castes and military castes, which is fueled with corporations, so military industrial complex, and then you have working class, aka the peasants. And uh, don't be harsh on yourself if you cannot use your powers to completely change your caste don't judge yourself because you are not unworthy if you belong to a particular class if you are working class guy you are not less valuable than somebody who is brahmin who is a priest or somebody who is corporation owner for some reason I needed to throw this message out there. To the gods, castes are not that important. They are important. They are not completely amaterial. But many gods, especially Shiva, they do not give a fuck about your social standing. Nor does Vishnu nor does Brahma, nor does any other deity. 
they acknowledge that the castes exist and they definitely taught me that the castes are a real thing and I just wanted to point out that in modern times castes in society are not based anymore upon karma back in a day they were because the world was much more spiritual but today it's just a matter of luck really it's just a matter of the fact that some souls get that experience by the will of the brahman and it doesn't mean that those souls who are born in the upper castes are more valuable than somebody who is born in a lower caste back in the day people really put in charge the most enlightened souls so it made sense but right now it's actually the opposite the less enlightened you are and more animalistic you are the bigger is the chance of you becoming somebody of the higher social standing of the higher caste and there are not even real brahmins anymore people go into priesthood people go into temples and then they do it just for the money so if somebody is born a priest or if somebody is high ranking monk it doesn't mean that he is somehow more spiritually enlightened than the carpenter on the street who summons gods in his free time castes exist in a society and they don't exist just in india they exist in the entire world we all live in some version of the caste system one way or the other there is no denial to that but we shouldn't judge ourselves and we shouldn't judge our fellow humans according to the caste i think it is important for us as spiritual seekers to see beyond castes and to judge the eternal soul and to see phenomena as they are and not to judge and not to attach a judgment to them so that's my message for tonight this was really a message which came to me in a meditation it wasn't something i wanted to say it was just something which came to me in meditation when i recited om namah shivaya and then finally and suddenly the vision of vishnu appeared i don't know why i don't know when i don't know how but maybe that's the message for my path and i should keep traveling the tantric route i still think that it's better for me to go to the tala route and all of my guiding spirits they agree with that notion but this vision and this message was something i wanted to share and it is something i wanted to talk to my audience about and i am not worshipper of lord vishnu but after this vision i acknowledge that he is a worthy guy to many and that he and his energy are really misinterpreted there are many how i can say people who know much more about lord vishnu than me and lord krishna but i personally do not work with him a lot but for some reason i was guided to share this vision actually the vision was me in semi trance state and then i all of a sudden saw krishna playing a pipe krishna and he kind of gave me elaborate monologue from his mouth about the caste system why it exists why it is necessary for the society he explains that all of the societies even the most 
primitive tribes. He have some version of the caste system. He gave elaborate arguments on that, and then he said that today caste system all around the world got perverted, and that he doesn't mean anything anymore from the perspective of the gods, and that we should acknowledge that castes are there. We should also acknowledge that there is a probability that you cannot physically change your caste in a lifetime. If you are born a working class, there is a big chance you will also die working class. You can change a caste, but it's really difficult. And if you don't manage to change your caste, don't judge yourself. And Brahman allowed certain people to have certain experiences for a reason. And we shouldn't simply judge people based on the caste they are born in. We shouldn't behave better towards poor people because they are poor, nor because they are rich. We should judge the soul and not the possessions. And thank you for watching and see you next time. If there is anything which was misinformation in this video. I want people to inform me about it. I was also in my trance state instructed that the key to manifestation is detachment. So I need to learn how to detach in order for a manifestation of what I want. And that's everything I have to say for now. Thanks for watching.